Hey everybody, welcome back, Uncle Drew's Kitchen. Not only is it Super Bowl weekend, but it's gonna be meatball weekend. Meatballs are great with different types of sauces or just plain, right on their own. These meatballs are anything but plain. They've got flavor, they've got spice, and yes, they've got everything nice. So you'll see here tonight, I've got a variety of everything. I've got some extra lean ground beef, lean ground pork, and I've got some fresh ground veal. I have some fresh Parmigiano, I've got a few red chili flakes for a little bit. I've got fresh parsley, fresh oregano, and fresh basil. Let's go. Okay, let's get to work. Start out here by dicing up one medium-sized onion. Make sure you're using a very sharp knife. And watch your fingers, as always, safety first. I'll be using both fresh and dry herbs. Here you'll see I'm using some nice oregano. Here comes the parsley, and of course I've got the basil leaves under there. You'll notice I'm kind of rolling this up like a cigar and folding it over. Makes it a little bit easier to chop because I want to make sure everything here is chopped up really nice and finely. I layer in my meat. I'll add in ground beef, veal, and pork, and usually do that two or three times over. That way it makes for an easier mixing process, making sure that all three varieties of meat are blended really well together. Now I'm going to proceed to season it up with my dry herbs. I've got oregano, basil, and thyme. We've got one whole egg, and now we'll give everything a really good mix. You'll notice here I've made a little bit of a well, so I can go ahead and add in my diced onions and minced garlic. Here comes my spice mixture. If you'd like to know which spices those are, just put a little comment down below, and I'll be happy to share that easy recipe with you. Otherwise, you can certainly try and guess what's in there. Those are those fresh herbs that we've chopped up. And now a little chefy trick here. Give your cheese grater a little bit of spray with some olive oil. It makes for a much easier process to go ahead and grate that Parmesan cheese. We are very generous here with our cheese. Adds a fantastic and delicious flavor to our meatballs. Now we'll just proceed on to give this one good final mix and blend everything together. And we'll proceed on to portioning these out into smaller size meatballs. I have both a one ounce and a two ounce scoop. That way I can determine what size meatball I'd like to make, or you can just simply eyeball it. The size of a golf ball, a baseball, it's your choice. Just keep in mind, the larger the meatball, the longer the cook time. would cooking be if we weren't having a little bit of fun in the kitchen I'm starting off with a pan, medium high heat, and we're gonna cook those until they're golden brown on one side and then we will start to turn them over. I am also cooking the other half of the meatballs tonight in the air fryer. Shortens up my cooking window a little bit, which is good, and I can move on to other things at the same time. You'll see right there in the air fryer all the excess fat and grease. The drippings go down into that catch pan. Watch carefully how I'm removing the meatballs here. I'm pulling back and around my pan to avoid getting splashed by that hot oil. I'm really hoping you're enjoying the meatball recipe. Do me a favor and smash that like button. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. These meatballs turned out fantastic. I've actually... <laughs> I've actually already tried quite a few. The top layer used to be full, but I couldn't wait. I cooked half of them in the pan. The other half I cooked in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, that's fine. You can certainly cook them in the pan. You can put them in the oven if you choose to do that. Use your oven rack and that way you can have the grease and the excess fat drip right away. Uh, because again, we've used three different types of meat out here. I've used pork, veal, and beef. 
So there was certainly a lot of excess fat and grease drippings that we seem to eliminate using the air fryer versus in the pan. So my recommendation would be in the air fryer, secondary would be in the oven, last resort, pan of course, still okay. In the pan, just make sure you drain the grease, use a paper towel like you saw me do, pat that down, you'll remove as much of the excess as possible. The other way that I love to make meatballs are directly in my tomato sauce. You'll be able to click a link right up here. It's gonna be over here. It actually might be over here. I'm and you can click on the link for the tomato sauce recipe. Very easy recipe on my YouTube channel. You'll enjoy that. So that's the, the primary way that I would normally cook meatballs. I would whip up my tomato sauce recipe, pop these meatballs right in that sauce and let it simmer for hours and hours. It's gonna enhance the flavor of both the tomato sauce and your meatballs. It's double trouble out there. Those turn out fantastic. You can use those with any type of pasta dish at that point. You can make a great meatball sub. Those are fantastic. Meatball sandwich, whatever you might wanna call you it. You can use tomato sauce. You can use sweet and sour sauce, honey garlic sauce, hot sauce. Whatever you choose. I've got a little bit of garlic sauce right in the middle. It's medium temperature, so it's not gonna burn too much, but the flavor of these meatballs on their own is just spectacular. You won't even need a sauce, but you're gonna look like the champion at the big game showing up with these meatballs. I can assure you of that. The different size meatballs, I've got the smaller ones, I've got the larger ones at the back. Mm -hmm. Boom! Delicious, delicious meatballs. Wow.